All right, little by little, I would suggest taking care of these parentheses and let's bring up these powers as we do that. So log base 4 of 27 to the 1 3rd power minus log base 4 of 6 squared. Pulled the 2 up top. And I'm distributing this minus, so it's minus the, the log and minus a negative, so I'm going to add log base 4 of 81 to the 1 half, and then subtract log base 4 of x. So, what we have to think of now, log base 4 of 27 to the 1 third. This is the cubed root of 27. What times itself 3 times is 27? So that ends up being log base 4 of 3. Minus log base 4, 6 squared is 36. Log base 4 of 81 to the 1 half power, that's the square root of 81. So that's plus log of 9. And then we have minus log of x. So what you have to realize is that these positive ones, log base 3 and log base 9, are going to go up top because they're going to be multiplied. And then the minus ones, because they're being subtracted, are going to be divided by. And so we have log base 4 of 3 goes on top, 9 goes on top. But we've got a negative 36, and if you think of it, this 36 is being raised to a negative 1, and that's why it's being brought down to the bottom, and this x is also being brought down to the bottom. So we can cross-cancel some here. Um, 9 and 36 becomes 1 and 4. So we get log base 3, sorry, base 4 of 3 over 4x. And that is the ultimate condensing of this whole monster of a problem. So use problem properties of logarithms to solve for x. And so here's what we're doing. These are the beginning of, of solving problems. What I'm going to do first is condense this. Log base 3 of 6 equals log base 3 of two logs that are added, one log that is multiplied. So now we have a log base 3 of 6 equals a log base 3 of 3x. And so what we can say is logically, if we're taking the log of one side and the log of the other, the 6 has to be equal to the 3x. And so x has to be equal to 2. Another way of thinking about it is if you subtract this over here, log base 3 of 6. And actually, let's do that one. Let's do the second method with this one over here. So let's isolate the log of x first by adding log base 3 of 3 to both sides. Two logs that are added are the same as one log that is multiplied. So that's 3 times 3, or log base 3 of 9, log base 3 of x. Log base 3 of 9 equals log base 3 of x, and so 9 has to equal x. No other way. So this time, two options. We can either say this x has to be um, raised to the power, so you have log base 10 of 16. Using the property of logs, the last one is what brings that 2 to the x up. Log base 10, 16. Log base 10 of 2 to the x. So 2 to what power is 16? Well, 2 to the 4th power is 16. And finally, when we've got an x inside here, well, what can we do? Well, for one, this we should recognize as being um, 
that property of um, of logs. That's one way of recognizing it. Log base four of four is just one. And so you have one third log base four of x equals one. Um, and then we can multiply by three. So log base four of x equals times three times three and then convert it to exponential form. 4 to the third power equals x. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. That's one way of doing it. Um, and another way of doing it is if you took your 1 third and raised it to the power log base 4 of x to the 1 third equals log base 4 of 4. So then x to the 1 third has to equal 4. So if we cube both sides now, because we're undoing the 1 third power, we get x 4 cubed, 64. And there we have some properties of logs put into good use.